Hi, this is Simon from Swain Fog Beard. In this video, I will be explaining how to trim your beard, create cheek and neck lines, and trim your mustache. I will also show how I shape my beard. Swain Fog Beard is natural and organic male grooming product manufacturer and retailer. Every year we meet tens of thousands of our customers in person and share experiences. This is why we can proudly say that we know everything about beards and traditional wet shaving. A beard never looks good if it's not well defined and trim. Even Vikings, more than a thousand years ago, understood that and used razors to shape the beards. While we all have different face structures and hair, there are some beard shaping rules that apply to all. Following are the three steps I do to shape my beard, as well as some general tips. Step 1. Before we start trimming, we need to detangle our beard. Use a comb or a coarse brush and run it through your beard until you feel no more pulling. Detangling will help to release any flyaway hair that might be trapped in your beard. To detangle my beard, I use a coarse military canned brush that could be found on www.swainforbeard.co.uk. Step 2. Trimming. While I recommend using scissors because it does much less damage to your hair, the shape of my beard is easier to achieve using clippers. First of all, I set my clippers to 11mm length and trim my sideburns from the top of my ear to the bottom of it. There tend to be a lot of bushiness and flyaway here in sideburns. To remove all that and create a separation between my beard and my hair, I tend to cut my sideburns short. Secondly, I'll be trimming the flyaway hair from the bulk of my beard. It doesn't matter at what length you set your clippers on, because you're not gonna go all the way to the skin. Run your clippers downwards just so you only cut the flyaway hair. Always work your way down. Going downwards will help you avoid taking out chunks of your beard. Brush your beard to pick up any flyaway hair that might be still tangled in your beard and repeat it two or three times. I follow my natural beard growth and only take off the flyaway hair. However, you can run your clippers straight down to create a more boxy looking beard. Walking around your jaw is a bit more complicated. There are different beard shapes that you might like and you will need to trim accordingly. For example, the V-shaped beard comes pretty much naturally and it only requires you to remove the flyaway hair. This area is also called the beard shelf. This is where the main bulk of the beard lays, so go extra slowly to avoid making mistakes. I like to keep my beard at a medium length and it has plenty of thickness, so I prefer to trim my beard under the jaw rather short. I usually go with 11 or 13 mm clippers starting from the neck and going up to the jaw. As I'm approaching the jaw, I gradually pull the clippers away to create a fade and an angle. Finally, I like the flat chin look. To achieve that, I take the tip of my clippers off and shape the beard underneath my chin. Keep your head straight and run your clippers towards your neck. The goal here is to achieve a straight line at the bottom and about a 70 degree angle between the bottom of your beard and your neck. Step 3. Lines. Now, as my beard is trimmed, it's time to create lines. I prefer trimming my beard before creating lines because it makes it much easier to keep the symmetry. There are three main lines to create. It's the cheek line, also known as the top line, the neck line, also known as the bottom line, and the lip line, aka moustache. Cheek lines can be styled in different ways. You can create a straight line, a straight line on an angle, a curved line. If you wear your hair short, you can also extend your beard line to the end of your sideburns, creating pointy sideburns. Please comment below what style cheek lines are you wearing. While curved lines are the most popular, they can make your face appear round. To keep a lean look, I recommend creating straight lines on an angle. Use your natural beard lines to guide you. If you have high beard lines, create your cheek line from the top of your ear to the corner of your lip. If you have lower natural beard lines, you can create your cheek line from the middle of your ear to the corner of your lip, or a straight line from the bottom of your ear to the corner of your lip. My natural beard lines are somewhere in between, but because I have long hair, I like to open up my face. I create my cheek lines from the bottom of my ear to a little bit lower than the corner of my lip. The best tool to create and maintain your beard lines is a straight razor. With a straight razor you can effortlessly create curved lines as well as straight ones. 
You can pick up here tight spaces like corners or underneath your nose. You also get a much cleaner shave, which means you will not need to touch up your beard lines as often as you would need if you were using clippers or disposable razors. To shave my beard lines, I'm also using Swain 4 Beard Shaving Oil. Being natural and organic, it provides you with amazing razor's glide and reduces skin irritation. It is also transparent, which means it's easier to see the lines you're working on. The razor and the shaving oil I'm using can be found on www.swainforgbeard.co.uk. Apply some shaving oil, take your straight razor and get your cheek lines clean. Always start shaving with the grain. Do the second pass across the grain and if you want an extra clean shave, do the third pass against the grain. As I'm shaving my top line, I'm also touching up the random hair above my moustache as well as underneath the nose. Once your cheek lines are nice and clean, move down to your neckline. A rule of thumb here is to follow your side burn all the way down, creating a straight line. Have your head straight and shave anything you can see below your beard shelf. Connect the corners of your beard with what you just shaved in a straight line. Because I shaved the bottom of my beard flat, I tend to do the same with my neckline above the Adam's apple. If you wish, you can do two straight lines meeting in the middle. The best shaping tool here is your fingers. Create an L shape between your thumb and your index finger and follow this shape while shaving your neckline. When it comes to necklines, less is more. It's better to shave less than to go too close to the jaw. The only thing left now is your lip line. The idea here is that your moustache shouldn't cover your top lip. If you want to grow out your moustache, brush or comb it to the sides, apply some moustache wax and only cut the reluctant flyaway hair that's remaining. If you, just like me, want to keep your stash at its current length, comb or brush your hair down and cut anything that covers your top lip. There are different shapes that you may want to try. For example, a rounded lip line is done by relaxing your face and cutting a bow-shaped moustache line. You can also do a straight lines for a V-shaped moustache. I prefer doing a so-called smiling face moustache trim. What I normally do is I extend the corners of my lips as if I was smiling and cut a straight line above my top lip. When you relax your face, the line will get somewhat curved. However, you will get much better defined corners in compared to the other shapes. To cut my lip line, I use Swain 4 Beard Moustache Scissors, which can be found on www.swainfoldbeard.co.uk. I start by holding my scissors at a 90 degree angle and later increase the angle to give a bit of a rounded corner to my moustache line. Be careful not to trim too much of your top hair and avoid using clippers because you can drastically reduce the volume of your moustache and it will no longer match your beard. To finalize my lip line trim, I touch up the corners of my moustache and pick up any flyaway here I can see on the top of it. This is how I trim my beard, create and maintain my cheek and neck lines and trim my moustache. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it useful. I'm sure I forgot to mention some things, so if you have any questions, you're welcome to put them in the comment section below. Please like this video and subscribe for more. You can also find a lot of male grooming content on our Instagram and Facebook. Swain 4 Beard produces organic and handmade male grooming cosmetics as well as tools. We have a range of more than 130 products for beard care, traditional wet shaving and hair styling. Our cosmetics consist of natural ingredients. We do not use harsh chemicals, sulfates or parabens. Our cosmetics are suitable for people with sensitive skin. Most of our cosmetics are also suitable for vegans. Swain Folk Beard tools are handmade from the best materials. They are durable and will last you many years. Our tools are also designed to be easy to use. To see the whole range of Swain Folk Beard products, please visit our website at www.swainfolkbeard.co.uk.